the motivation for the issue arose really after the election and um, sort of the, the realization among scholars that antitrust enforcement was unlikely to move forward uh, over the next four years because Republican administrations traditionally are more pro-corporate, pro-corporate profits, uh, less uh, interested in protecting consumers. And that means that new um, enforcement topics and theories don't get tried out. Why is that important? Well, the economy's changing all the time. I mean, we used to have typewriters and buggy whips and bicycles, and now we have handsets and patents and social media sites and platforms and credit cards. And so you need to apply the, the law, the antitrust law, to those new markets. To actually enforce the antitrust laws in the modern economy, you have to move the ball forward. You have to try uh, applying the law to a new area, a new sector, a new set of products, explain how competition works, explain where the harm to competition might arise or is arising, uh, explain how a merger would harm competition. And if you don't move the enforcement of antitrust forward, then you end up enforcing buggy whips and typewriters. And that doesn't help consumers because increasingly they're buying handsets and they're spending their time on social media and and so you're you're out of sync uh, with the consumer. I think there are parallels. The rise in income inequality that we've seen in the last 30 years in the United States is the same kind of thing that was happening uh, back then. I mean we had a, a more equal income in the middle of the of the 20th century but we've really had a, a steep rise. Uh, since then. We also uh, are seeing a really substantial um, effect of corporate interests in policy making. So if you open the newspaper today, you'll see that you know, the banks uh, are getting regulations to loosen uh, uh, their ability to you know, make bets with depositors' money and uh, not have to hold as much capital. Um, polluters are uh, successfully lobbying the Environmental Protection Agency to reduce regulations. And that, I think, makes citizens uncomfortable, um, that their democracy is not working in the way that they would like it to work. Uh, and we, we note that when that happened before, the antitrust laws were passed in the first place. Um, so I think there's an increasing interest on the part of ordinary citizens, on the part of a lot of advocacy groups, on the part of foundations, and even the Democratic Party, in saying, shouldn't competition enforcement, shouldn't anti-monopoly be a really important component of public policy today?